What's that old saying? A hurt dog gon' always holler. <laughs> Let's get into today's video. The sun is sunning. I don't even know if I have my glasses. Hold on one second. Okay, I don't have my shades. The sun is sunning, but we finna do this, y'all. It is up. Uh, okay, it is Motivation Monday. Happy Monday, happy Monday. I am clearly on my lunch break and I am taking my daily walk. Um, last night, me and my older children, we had a really good walk in the deep late night evening. And so I hope and I pray that each one of you got the opportunity to take at least like 30 minutes to get out and walk. Um, this week we are back in training and when I say it is hard to stay up, oh my goodness, it is so hard to stay up and focus with these trainings. Um, but I wanted to come and drop this message upon y'all real quick. It's not gonna be long today because I need to, as you know, go over to my other platform. But I'm gonna get it out. And yeah, I still got my video from yesterday that I'm trying to get uploaded and it's giving me a time. But anyway, the message that I got today, okay, seeing we have a lot of people going through the same stuff, right? Um, the message I want to give you today is do not allow someone to tell you how to heal. Don't allow someone to tell you, oh, well, you should be over this by now or stop talking about this or, you know, whatever the case may be. Like, <laughs> respectfully, or maybe sometimes you got to be disrespectful, but let them know that this is your healing journey and whatever time it takes for you to get there if they are due an explanation if you feel like you owe them an explanation me i don't owe nobody no explanation so i ain't explaining shit but uh <laughs> and that's what that is but don't let people tell you how to heal or when your healing journey should be over. You know what I'm saying? One thing I learned is people, what, what is the saying that they say, a hurt dog will holler, right? People will allow themselves to be triggered when something that's being said is, is resonating with them, right? So ladies and gentlemen, if you are, um, leaving a relationship, if you've left a job, if you've lost your parent, if you've lost a child, if you've lost a spouse due to, you know, death or whatever the case may be. However, you may have lost this person. Um, do not let society or other people tell you, oh, you know, get over it or you should be over it or it don't take that long to heal or whatever the case may be. Um, I know when some people are getting out of relationships, depending on how their relationship was, depending on the reasoning for getting out of the relationship, I know sometimes it takes people a little longer to get over situations then it takes other people um for me currently i'm good <laughs> i'm over it for shit show however um i'm not in a position to where i'm moving on to another relationship and uh my reasoning is my reasoning right but Sorry, my timer went off i'm not going to be um directed or told 
what to do, how to do, when to do. Um, I ain't never been a person that you just gonna tell me what to do. <laughs> My daddy raised me. Um, but yeah, don't don't let people tell you how to do stuff. Don't let people bully you. See, when people lose access to you, sometimes that does something to them. You know, and you can say, oh, no, you know, I'm over that person. But when people lose access to you sometimes, especially if you were a really, really good supply, people not going to know how to handle that. Like, they can pretend that they're okay with it. But, like, actions speak louder than words, y'all. So just stop worrying about what people got to say about you. Stop worrying about how people feel like you should be. Stop being concerned with what someone is going to think about you if you do this or if you do that. As long as you're moving with, um, I don't know why confidence is coming to me right now. As long as you're moving with confidence, as long as you're moving in a way that should not negatively affect another person, then you should be good. Like, you shouldn't have to worry about, don't sweat the small stuff, like they say. Because people going to say what they say. People going to project their own insecurities upon you. Um, people going to have a problem with what you do, how you do it. Uh, where you do it, people are always gonna have an issue um, with with you, and that is their problem, right? We have to make this stuff their problem, right? So um, that's what I wanted to say today because I'm gonna share my life with y'all. I don't care, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna share what I want to share, whatever video I want to post, whatever I talk about in my video, that's what I'm going to do. Because it's going to resonate with someone and it's going to be able to help take someone into the next level of their life, the next step. Right? So, yeah. Um, I hope and pray that everyone is having an amazing day. Like I said, I'm in this training class. I'm so sleepy. <laughs> so I had to get out and get me some sun. And um, I already ate, so I'm not going to eat again. I'm probably gonna like snack on me some fruit or something. But yeah, <laughs> it's, man, just this year is almost over with. And so it's just a lot of things that we as individuals need to work on. And me, only thing that matters to me is how I finish. That's the only thing that matters to me. I'm not worried about what someone else is doing, how someone else is doing. I could care less. Um, and if you really want to live a peaceful life, you got to get to that point, too. <laughs> you know, you can't care what someone is doing in their spare time or in their personal time. That's It's irrelevant. Like, it's time out for people to be in each other's business. You know what I'm saying? To an extent. Sometimes... You may have to get up in somebody's business, especially if it's somebody you love or someone is directly connected to you. But no one cares. <laughs> I don't know who needs to hear this, but no one cares. You really not that important. So stop thinking that you just are so important in someone's life to where, you know, 
everything is about you. Everything ain't about you, right? So, <laughs> y'all just calm down, take you a good detox, and work on the full agreements. Dear God, thank you for today. Thank you for the trees, the grass. Thank you for the sun. Um, ooh, it's making me feel amazing. God, I want to pray for anyone who is struggling today, struggling with um, getting over a loved one, struggling with getting over hurt. Hello, love. Yeah, yeah. How are you? <laughs> How are you today? <laughs> How are you? Good. How are you doing? Good. Walking up. Every day. Yes, ma'am. Every day. <laughs> it, the sun, it, it gives me energy. <laughs> Good to see you. I'm sorry, y'all. My prayers are always interrupted. I can't not uh, speak. But God, thank you for everything. I pray that if someone right now is dealing with emotional damage, if anyone is dealing with depression or anxiety, God, I pray that you give them comfort and help them to find peace in their situation so that they can get to a point of understanding of self because that's what's important. We have to get to the point that we understand self. And even if we are one of those demonic entities, there is a way that you can fight those demons off. And I pray that at least one person under the sound of my voice that know they are a demon, I pray that they find peace with themselves and then they are able to run the demon out because despite of what some may think you actually can run that demon out i'm gonna do a story time with y'all it's not gonna be today about the incubus and succubus demon i used to have the succubus demon attached to me and that made me addicted to porn and not even addicted to porn, but I'ma say addicted to masturbation. And God delivered me from that. And that evil spirit was removed from me. So this is why I'm confidently able to tell y'all that we all could be attacked by a demon. We all could be possessed by a demon but we also can all um, heal from that. All right, so y'all stay tuned. Make sure y'all turn y'all post notifications on so y'all can know what I'm dropping the video, especially that video about the incubus and succubus demon because a lot of people don't realize that they may have a demon attached to them. You know, maybe they go on regular you know, thinking that they feel normal and whole time it's the demon that's attached to them. So, and this is people in church, out of church, you know, in your home, a stranger. Oh, okay. So, I had to make that, quiet, that walk pretty quick. So, thank y'all for listening. Again, as usual, I appreciate um, all of y'all's support. And hey, if my videos do not resonate with you, like if you don't find my videos helpful or you don't find uh, my videos to be, you know, a positive part of your life, I'm, I'm not that girl. You can unfollow me. Like you could literally unfollow me to where you won't see none of my stuff, right? It's okay, you won't hurt my feelings because at the end of the day, I know who I am and I know whose I am. So if my videos maybe trigger you and they don't help you and you don't wanna see my content, 
unfollow me. I still love you. Okay? All right, you have a good day.